Derita, derita, derita. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. So, in the video today, I wanted to discuss how to get over a bad grade. So this, I know this has happened to a lot of people and it definitely happened to me, especially in PA school. Not only once, but it happened multiple times, especially during my didactic year. It also happened to me during my clinical year. And sometimes it's really hard to get over a bad grade. So I just wanna make a video about this for those of you who are in your didactic year or even in your undergraduate years and you're taking your prerequisites and you've gotten a bad grade on an exam. Basically, what to do to get over your bad grade and just to make sure that you are not the only one who's getting bad grades we're not perfect and so I just want to discuss this in this video so I definitely did get a lot of bad grades during my didactic year especially my first semester at PA school if you've seen my previous videos I struggled a lot during my first year of didactic year I had been out of school two years now this is not an excuse but I also did not know how to study for PA school, I didn't know how to study properly, how to retain information, and you're having so much information thrown at you, especially during your didactic year. It's like people say you're drinking water out of a fire hose, literally, because you have all this information just being thrown at you and you have to make sure that you're retaining it and keeping it because you're gonna use it again during your clinical years. So how do you do this? And then of course, there'll be times where you have bad grades. I mean, especially during didactic year, you have so many exams every week. I had, if not a minimum of one exam every week, there would be weeks where I had about 12 exams or eight exams. This was very significant, especially during finals week. Final week was just brutal. I was not sleeping. I can remember if I even wore underwear that day. It was just horrible. But yeah. Um, I definitely got a lot of bad grades during my didactic, didactic year and I even got a bad grade during my clinical year, but what did I do? So like I said, during my didactic year, I actually had a lot of bad grades. There was one instance where I got the lowest grade for one of my exams out of the entire program. So that did make me feel some type of way. I, out of 80 students, I had the lowest grade and I felt like a failure. I remember when I saw my grade, I started crying. I was bawling my eyes out. I called my mommy, yes, I called my mother. And I was just so upset and distraught over this terrible grade. I started questioning myself, like, am I meant to be a PA? Why did the program choose me to be in the program? Um, in their program, there was probably even better candidates for PA school, but they chose me. I felt like I had failed my professors. I felt like I had failed myself. And I was just really, really, harsh on myself over this bad grade. I remember that entire day I was just depressed. I went home and I just cried, cried, cried. And I just lost all motivation because I was so depressed over my bad grade. And my program has this thing that whenever you get lower than uh, 80, because 80 and above is considered passing at graduate standard levels. So anything lower than 80, you're required to go see your advisor, which they assign you, and basically they just want to know if everything's okay, whether they can help you with anything, whether you do not understand a certain topic or something they may have not explained very well. So you just want to check up on you to make sure that hopefully this does not happen again. So this was something I dreaded all the time because I didn't want to go see them because I was very, very embarrassed with myself. And I felt like I had put in the work. I mean, I had studied a lot and I was just anxious so when it came down to taking the exams and I think part of that is because I did not have good test taking skills also I did not have good time management and I didn't know how to study for didactic exams so PA school is completely different when it comes down to undergraduate school on top of that of course the amount of exams that you're taking the amount of information that you are learning but also the exams they tend to be tested differently than your undergraduate level so this was something I had to get accustomed to but it's really important that you do get over that bad grade. I know usually it would take me the first time, it took me like a day or two. And then after that, I told myself, you know what, I cannot let this happen again. So I made sure I studied more, I studied harder, and I made sure that I questioned myself and I did. I told myself, well, what did I do to receive this bad grade? Whether it was not studying enough for this class, usually what would happen is that I if it was an easy class and I thought it was an easy class, I would put it aside 
and focus on classes that were worth more. And that's something that's really important for a no-no. It's really important that you have good time management in PA school because you have so many classes and so many exams. You want to make sure that you are putting the correct amount of studying for each class and not only focusing on one class and letting the other classes slide just not looking at them or studying for them and this was something that i lacked my first semester i did not have good time management skills i was focusing too much on one classes and on the other classes i wasn't studying for them so this was something that really was bad and did not work on my behalf at all so time management was really really important and then getting after getting over a bad grade making sure that you question yourself and you ask yourself, well, what am I doing wrong? What am I, what are my studying habits? Am I not doing repetition as much as I should? Repetition is really important in PA school, not only for retaining the information, but also it'll help you not to cram towards the end. So when the exams come around, you don't want to be cramming. You want to make sure you are repeating that information every day from the first day that you start learning new information and just adding on whether it's through flashcards, whether it's through practice questions. Practice questions are really important during your didactic year and also during your clinical year because they'll help you see what you are lacking. So you'll go through these questions and you'll say, you know what, I'm lacking on this portion or this portion or I don't know my cardiovascular but I know my GI very well. So that way you know what you have to focus on because you are not doing well. So this is the way that you do this is by quizzing yourself and testing yourself. So repetition is the key, making sure you see that information every day because then your brain will capture it and you'll start seeing these patterns. And when you take your exams, you are recognizing these patterns. So repetition, repetition, repetition is the key. So that was one of the things that I learned and that helped me get higher grades in my exams, questioning myself, like what did I do wrong? This time when I took the exam, was I anxious? Did I run out of time? Did I not sleep enough? There would be, especially during my first semester, some days where I, I didn't sleep at all. I only slept two hours and this definitely worked against me. So sleep hygiene, making sure you sleep at least eight hours every night. If possibly at least eight hours before you take your exam, it's really important. You'll see the wonders it does for you. So don't be too harsh on yourself. Sometimes it's good to be a little harsh on yourself, but not overextending it. Um, that way, if you are a little harsh, you can tell yourself, you know what, I'm going to do better. I'm going to score higher on my next exams. I've critiqued myself and this is what I'm lacking. My time management skills are not well. During class, I goof off too much or I talk to my classmate too much or I'm online shopping, etc. I had to stop this or I have to make sure I do more practice questions. So make sure you quiz yourself and you ask yourself what you did wrong. So don't see it like something like you're a failure. That's how I saw it the few times that, that I got bad grades and I was really hard on myself, but see it as a way to improve yourself and to get better grades because it's like they say, you always learn from your mistakes. And so I definitely did learn this and I started getting higher grades and better grades after that and during my clinical year. So make sure that you use it as a learning and do not be very harsh on yourself because everybody gets bad grades. I got bad grades during my undergraduate classes also and my prerequisites. I got C's in organic chemistry and genetics and I still got a southern into PA school. We're not perfect, but the fact that you are trying and you are studying harder to get better grades and you are questioning yourself how you can better yourself is good guys all right guys i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions any comments make sure you come below or send me, send me an email and i will get in contact with you guys as soon as i can all right guys thanks for watching my videos and i'll talk to you later bye